I was watching wow. John Oliver yes. over the weekend, and he had a real go at uh, psychics and mediums, saying basically how illegitimate sure. the uh, the the um, profession profession is, the right. the market is, and called you out specifically. Yeah. When you saw, I mean, I know that you probably deal with naysayers all the time, sure. but when you saw this in particular, I mean, you and I think Matt Lauer, I think was the. That's right. What, how did, was your, what was your response to that? Well, I didn't watch the piece, but I was featured with like four other mediums, mm -hmm. and being that I'm a famous medium, they picked me out of the bunch. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, when it comes to those situations, in that particular piece, he talks about the Matt Lauer reading and the fact that there is a lot of public information about Matt Lauer. It's mm -hmm. something I deal with very often, the fact that I read celebrities. And I feel that the information that came through was so specific and personal, and Matt Lauer was able to validate that a number of the things that came through, he'd never mm -hmm. discussed publicly. So to me, that validates the process, but I'm used to skeptics. I read a lot of celebrities with public lives, and it's the information for the client that they hear that's personal and specific that they take away from and that they get emotional details. by. It's yeah. not the stuff they know they've discussed in interviews. Have you called John Oliver to say, hey, I'll give you a reading? <laughs> like, isn't yeah. that the best way to answer back? That would be fascinating. We might see him see John some Oliver, Look at that. you know, we're going to hook you up. Or here. Dr. Drew took you for the brain scan. He did. Send that yes. in. What did we find? Exactly. What, what's so going on? This season, I mean, I was really willing to kind of put myself out there. I got tested by Dr. Drew and a scientist and colleague of his. Um, they scanned my brain during a reading. They selected the client, kept it completely secret. And as I did the reading, they were able to monitor my brain and found some really shocking results. Like what? You can't tell us? I can't tell you the full results, Aww. but you'll see. Dr. Dr. Drew really analyzed it, and I'd probably butcher the explanation, but it was Are fascinating. Are you operating in a, at another level? There, it was unexplainable, yeah. and we're going to follow up for additional <laughs> testing. Oh so, by Dr. Drew's standards, it was unexplainable. So. Is anybody else hot? Wait, Wait Scott yeah. is freaking And that's the tea. Yeah, that's the tea. <laughs> um, you there also you read Selma Blair. I yes. don't know how long ago that was. Did. Did you, were you able to see or? or foretell a little bit that she was going to have health issues? It was interesting in hindsight with her being so public about MS. Um, you know, when I sat with her, a lot of our focus was on her emotional health and what she was going through and how that was affecting her. So it was less of a physically based treating, but at that time we definitely talked about just health generally and on an emotional level how it was affecting her. So it made sense in seeing the diagnosis. Have you ever been sitting with someone and they really want something to come through, and like you're just not getting anything. Totally. I mean, there's times where I, I won't be able to connect with a specific person. I usually find when I sit across from someone, something will come through eventually. Mm -hmm. I remember I sat with Tori Spelling, and she handed me her dad's typewriter, and I didn't know it was her dad's. And as I'm holding on to it, I was connecting with her friend in the other room, whose boyfriend had passed away, and it was all accurate and specific, and it was her friend too. But her dad didn't make a connection, so it just happened. Interesting. Happens. Well, how does that work? Sometimes the spirit just doesn't want to come. Yeah, exactly. I always say, I can't dial direct. It's always <laughs> yeah. on their terms, not mine. And, you know, when I sit with a person, I just relay what I'm seeing, hearing, and feeling. And you're so. not dialed in right now, because Scott. <laughs> <laughs> we might scare like I'm, Scott. Like I'm sweating. Let's get it here. Get you know, my water. dad, I've got a really good friend, Chris. Yeah. And it was like, wow. and I, I've actually sat with a medium yeah. before, a uh, very talented guy. And I had to leave the room. Wow. I had to leave the room. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. like he, he said something to me that was so terribly specific mm -hmm. that like Chris didn't even know that I had this nickname for him. Wow. And he called him by yeah. the nickname and I was like, I'm good. Yep. I'm yeah. actually going to go now. Right? I, I believe. I mean, Absolutely. I think there's a part of all of us, I think, that have a little bit of that sixth sense that it's just knowing when you're actually in tune with what's going on out there, right? Definitely. We yeah. love that you have it and you're bringing so much joy. Such How's it going for Let You Go with the boyfriend and the parents still yes, living together? doing good. We're all happy family like the Brady Bunch, so. <laughs> so great. Yes. There he is. Oh, it's Cute fantastic. Clint. Oh. He's adorable. Love it. Uh, congratulations on another great season. Hollywood Medium with Tyler Henry airs tomorrow night at 8 on E. We are tuning in. Oh, yes, yeah. it's so good.